So this will be our last example involving inverse trig functions and substitution. And this one is not quite what you might expect. Um, we see this pattern down the bottom, which reminds us of arc sine, right? Because we know the derivative for arc sine, just as a reminder. You've probably been reading along in the textbook, but just in case you haven't, the derivative for arc sine, 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared, right? We have 16 minus x squared, so 4 squared minus x squared, but we know that we can handle that with the substitution, right? Um, similar to the example we did with arc tan. Okay, but we have this 4 minus x on top, so how do you handle that, right? Um, and it's easy to be led astray in this problem because you might, you know, you might say, hey, 16 minus x squared, that, that's a difference of squares, it factors, there's a 4 minus x in there, maybe I should try to simplify. You won't get anywhere down that path, right? Uh, you can play around, you think you're simplifying the integral, and then you just realize that you've made it much, much more complicated. Um, what often works in cases like this where you know that if you just had a constant on top, you'd be dealing with an inverse trig function, is you can, you can break this into more than one part, right? So we can divide the 4 and the x separately, and we can actually write this as a sum of two integrals. So we can write this as the integral of 4 over the square root of 16 minus x squared times dx minus the integral of x over the square root of 16 minus x squared times dx, okay? And so the, the trick here is that both of these are going to require u substitutions, um, but different substitutions because over here, right, well, if we substitute the whole thing under the square root, right, the derivative of 16 minus x squared, we get minus 2x dx. And except for that 2 that's missing, we have the x dx, right? So this is a simple substitution. Whereas over here, we've got to do some, some work, right? We've got to do a um, bit of manipulation so that we can bring out this arc sine um, result. So we're going to look at the two integrals separately, right? So first we look at the integral of 4 over the square root of 4 minus x squared, and, sorry, 16 minus x squared, okay? And what we do here is we can factor out a 16 on the bottom and write this as 1 minus x squared over 16, everything's still under that square root, okay? And, of course, if you have a product under the square root, you can break that up into a product of square roots, okay? And square root of 16 is 4, so that will cancel with that, okay? All right, so we're left with simply 1 over the square root of 1 minus, so we can write this as x over 4 all squared. Okay, so of course that suggests that we want to let u equal to x over 4, right? So du will be 1 over 4 dx, bring that 4 up, dx is going to be 4 times du, And we're going to get 4 over the square root of 1 minus u squared times du. So this is going to be 4 arc sine of u plus our constant. And the last thing to do is substitute in the x over 4, but we'll do that over there. Let's move on. Look at the second integral, All right? So for the second one, we have x over the square root 16 minus x squared. And for this one, as I said, 
is simple substitution. We just want to do u equal to 16 minus x squared, so that du is minus 2x dx, right? Divide both sides by minus 2. x dx will be minus 1 half du. Okay. And so we get 1 over square root of u times minus 1 half times du. Okay. So bring the constant out, minus 1 half, that's u to the minus 1 half. So adding 1 to our exponent, minus a half plus 1 gives us plus a half. Dividing by a half is multiplying by 2, right? So what we get is minus 1 half times 2u to the 1 half. Okay. Can cancel the twos, so we get minus root u, and again, we're going to put it back in over here. So, putting everything together, that first integral is giving us 4 times arc sine of x over 4. That was our u. Minus, minus, there's two minuses there, are going to cancel it, give me plus square root of u, and u was 16, it's a different u, maybe I should have called it a different letter, but hopefully that didn't throw you off. And as usual, we put in our constant, and there we have it.